Let's take a look at figuring out the expected value for playing the Washington State Lotto. Uh, in the Washington State Lotto, there's six different uh, balls that are picked uh, containing numbers between 1 and 49. If you get all six of the balls chosen correctly, then you win the jackpot. The starting jackpot is uh, $1 million, and it's going to keep growing until everyone, until someone wins the grand prize. Let's start with this $1 million. What, what it would be for the opening uh, lotto day. In this case, the odds of winning are 1 in 6.99 million. If you pick five balls correctly, you do still get a prize. You get $1,000. And there's a 1 in 27.1 thousand chance of that occurring. If you get four of the balls picked correctly, there's a $30 prize, and there's a 1 in 516 chance of that happening. Or if you get three balls correct, then you win a $3 prize. That's much more likely to happen, so there's a 1 in 28.3 chance of that occurring. All right, so let's figure out what the expected value in the lotto is going to be. To start out with, the first thing you need to do is to create a, a probability distribution table. So we need to know what our event is, what the value of that event is, and what the probability of that event is. So if we get all six balls correct, the value is $1 million. And the probability is going to come from this, these odds. Now, odds are just another way that we can talk about, um, talk about a probability chance. If we have 1 in 6.99 million possibility, then our probability is 1 out of 6.99 million. Uh, 6 .9 million can be written out like this. 6 million with the 990,000 coming next. Um, and we'll need to make sure that we have all of those zeros in their appropriate places. If we get five balls correct, the value is just $1,000, but the probability is 1 in 27.1 thousand. So again, make sure you have your zeros correct. This is 27,000. The point one gives us the 27,100. Four balls correct is $30 with a 1 in 516 chance, and 3 balls correct is $3 with a 1 in 28.3 chance. So here we have our events, here we have our values, and here we have our probabilities. Um, everything else, so 2, 1, or 0 correct has a value of $0. And this probability is going to be everyone else. We can find what that percentage is for everyone else here. We just need to make sure that we have everything taken into account. We can add all of these probabilities together and then do one minus that number to, to get what that 100% probability is. Keep in mind, though, as you go through, that if we're multiplying that probability by zero, it's not overly important that you actually calculate this all the way out. It's just important to make sure that you recognize that, that all of these together give us every single possibility. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead then and calculate our expected value. To find the expected value, we multiply the value by the probability of that occurring. So here we're gonna have $1 million times 1 over 6990000 plus $1,000 times 1 over 27,100 plus $30 times 1 over 516 plus $3 times 1 over 28.3 plus 0 times everybody else in terms of the probability. Again, because these values are fairly large, 
uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and use uh, use Desmos to be able to calculate that. So here, if I pull out my scientific calculator in Desmos, I can put all of this stuff in here. So let's see if I can get that out of the glare there. So here we're going to have 1 million times by 1 divided by 6990. 0, 0, 0, close that parentheses, plus 100, or sorry, 1,000, oh, make sure we move up to the right level here, plus 1,000 times by 1 divided by 27,100, plus 30 times 1 over 516, move over, plus Three times one over twenty eight point three plus zero. And here, what I end up with is point three four four one. So, what does this mean? My expected value, if I played the lotto lots and lots and lots of times, is that I would earn. $34, or not $34, 34 cents per ticket purchased. Now, in Washington State, you can pick uh, two, you can pay $1 for two plays. So that means each lotto ticket is going to cost you 50 cents to play. So this is the expected value of a win, but if you want to figure out a profit or a loss, then we have to take into consideration the fact that we had to buy that ticket in the first place. So even though I would expect to win an average of 34 cents over the long haul, which is, you know, it might be a lot, it might not be very much, but overall, in the long run, if we played this millions of times, it would be 34 cents, but then we had to pay the 50 cents to play in the first place. So in this case, we'd end up with a loss of 16 cents. We get negative 16, so we'd have a loss of 16 cents to play. Shockingly, this means that the lottery is geared to lose for you as an individual player. Um, and that's because our overall expected value after taking the purchase price of the ticket into consideration means that it's geared for more people to lose. And so we would end up being able to pay off all of the, the whoever's running the lotto can pay off all of the prizes and they'll still be getting extra money per ticket um, in order to run the, for, to, for meeting costs for running the lottery or for donating to whatever um, state fund or whatever the uh, Washington lotto feeds into.